guys and welcome back to Everything DIY. Today we're going to be showing you how to change rear brake pads and rotors. This should be a pretty good guide for those of you who have rear disc brakes as the design is pretty similar between vehicles. The parts we're using are these power stop slotted and drilled rotors as well as these ceramic brake pads. There are quite a few tools we'll be using for this project so if you're interested in a full list just see the video description below. The main thing you'll need though is a brake caliper toolkit. This is important because rear calipers require that you spin the piston while compressing. This is different than a front brake caliper which usually only requires compression. It's also considerably harder to compress so this tool will make your life a lot easier. We were able to buy this entire kit for $25. So the first thing we're going to do is park on a level surface. Don't engage the parking brake, then lift the car on both sides, support with jack stands, and remove the tires. Next we're going to locate the rear caliper here and remove the parking brake line. Okay. This way. Now we're going to remove the retaining clip here and I find the best way to prevent paint removal or chipping of any kind is just fish a line through here and pull. Now we can start to remove our caliper. There's two slide bolts here that we'll be removing right now. Take off the two plastic covers. Alright, these are hex bolts. So Finally, pull the caliper off the rotor and put it off to the side. Okay. From here, we can see the two brake pads. Just remove those. In order to take off the rotor, we need to remove this caliper mount here, and it has two bolts in the back. They're removed now. have this problem where the it's kind of stuck on there because it's been rusted a bit so you got to take a rubber mallet and you're just gonna kind of whack the sides of it until it comes loose there we go. before installing the new rotor we're gonna clean the wheel hub with a wire brush To install your new rotor, just grab it and put it on the wheel hub. Okay. Make sure if you have slotted or drill rotors that you put it on the correct side of the vehicle. It's best to follow the indicators on the rotors for the correct direction. We found that what might seem correct might actually be wrong. <laughs> In our front rotor video, we had a lot of people comment and say that we installed our rotors backwards. This in fact was not true. What some people didn't seem to understand is that the direction of the rotor depends on the direction of the internal cooling vanes and not the outside slots. There are clear markers on the rotor indicating on which side it's supposed to be placed and that's the procedure we followed. So please follow the indicators for your specific vehicle as well. While you're working you can put a lug nut on your rotor just so it doesn't move around too much. Alright, we're going to put our mount back on. Bolt it in. Alright, we're going to torque those bolts to 50 foot-pounds. Okay. Oops, also you want to know to clean the mount with some brake cleaner. We didn't do this on camera because it would just get everywhere. So yeah, just get it clean. Okay, now it's time for our new brake pads. You're going to want to put some grease just here and here to reduce noise on the road. I'm going to do that now. The one with the pin goes in the back. Okay. Now the other one. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, now for the sort of more difficult aspect of the job, we're going to be using our new tool to spin and compress the piston back into the caliper. A lot of people clamp and remove the brake lines because it makes the piston spin down easier, but we have steel brake lines so we can't do that, but this tool really already makes the job pretty easy. The tool has these two pins here at the bottom that obviously go into these two slots here, so I'm just gonna place it. This is how it's spun. Right, right in there. up until it's flush with the other surface. There we go. Yeah. To compress the piston, I'm just going to move the tool down start twisting. I really do highly recommend this tool. It just will make your life <laughs> so much easier. Piston's down, so now it'll clear the new brake pads. I'm just gonna put this back in position. There we go. Okay, now we can replace the slide pins. We're gonna wanna put a little bit of brake grease down at the bottom because the caliper slides around in there a bit, so just to some lubrication on that. And just get it in there. Now the next one, same thing. These should be torqued down to 22 foot, foot pounds. Put a little too much grease on there, uh, just needs to be on the contact points really, so I'm going to wipe that down just a bit. Two plastic covers. And the retainer. Finally, don't forget to put the parking brake line back in. Through there. Okay, so we're all done here, but in order to repressurize the brake lines, you're gonna wanna get in your car, and this is really important, get in the car while it's off, and you're gonna just pump the brake until it gets hard. Okay, so we're all done with that. Obviously, I'm gonna put the tire back on, but another important thing is you're probably gonna wanna bed in your brakes, so we have some tutorial links down below on proper procedures for that. So if you like this video, please hit the like button if you want to see more from us or are new, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, we have that section down below, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye!